What's up, Bomber Nation? Welcome to Bomber TV. I'm Adam Essman. And I'm Zach Jalot. In this week's video, we preview the girls' swimming season, and we also interview Bree Martin on the fall play and Boleyn. We'll also be taking a look at Community Service Club's Rudolph Run, but first, let's take a look at our BTV matchup. All right, what's up, BTV? For this week's BTV matchups, we have Are You Smarter Than a Fifth Grader with um, Bethany, a senior, and Claire, a junior. Uh, guys, both of you guys are friends, but is there some tension right now? Maybe like a little bit, I don't know. Claire? No. No? All right. Um, Claire, you seem to be having a rough morning. Uh, do you think that will affect your performance today? <laughs> uh, Bethany, do you think that will uh, affect her performance? Maybe a little bit, because she's a little worried. I know she is. Look at her. All right. Oh, okay. Claire is out of frame, but um, good luck, guys. All right, Bethany, first question. Um, so this is geography, fifth grade level, by the way. Uh, what is the main language spoken in the Canadian province of Quebec? French? Correct. Canadian. <laughs> that is incorrect. Uh, which country is both an island and a continent? An island and a continent? Reminder, there are only seven continents. Australia? <laughs> Correct, Australia. Yes! Oh, Cuba. Uh, that is incorrect. What is the name of the sea bordered by Europe to the north and North Africa to the south? I don't think fifth graders know these questions. Is that a pass? <laughs> Say it again. Atlantic? That is incorrect. It's, it's a pass. Okay, it's a pass. Um, all right, the mountain range that includes Mount Everest is called what? No mosaic. Okay. I know where Mount Everest is. <laughs> Appalachians. All right, that is incorrect. Good guess though. Okay. Pass. Yes. All right. And I don't think fifth graders know these questions. Are they? It's. According to the website, they do. Like, are you smarter than a freshman in college? <laughs> okay. Imaginary lines traversing the globe from pole to pole are called what? I learned this. I know it. I don't know, though. Pass. Yes. <laughs> All right. So they're like, oh, I don't know. I was going to say altitudes, but it's like not right. I can picture them in my head, though. No, pass. All right. The, the correct answer was meridians. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, guys. So, Bethany, you won. You answered two out of five correctly. Claire, you got zero out of five. Um, Bethany, give us a rundown of your performance. I was a little nervous. I don't. I definitely don't think those were fifth grader questions. All right, Claire. I think you gave Bethany the answers. <laughs> I did not. Um, are you just making up excuses? How would she know those questions? She only got two out of five. What um, did she get right? She got the first two questions. Um, Cuba is not a continent. I realized that after I said it, it was just a lot of pressure for me. Okay. It's uh, actually Australia. Yes. Uh, will this outcome affect your guys' friendship? Yes. Bethany? Oh, I was going to say no, but... All right. Well, Bethany, you uh, go against Alexis Seif in the next round. What do you have to say to Alexis? Hi. <laughs> All right. That's... It, thanks. All right. Hello. My name's Karina. Um, we are here with. Uh, I'm Bree. Hi. <laughs> okay. So you will be in Anne Boleyn, which will be this Friday and Saturday at 7. Are you excited or are you nervous? I'm excited. You are Anne mm -hmm. in Anne Boleyn play. Yeah. So, <laughs> how would you say you relate to her? I mean, I think it'd be kind of like bad to relate to her because she gets like, you know. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but she's cool. She's funny. <laughs> she's cool. Yeah. I like her. So, do you have a favorite part, scene? Favorite scene? I like the ones where I yell at people and people yell at me. <laughs> Personally, I think you do really well at the end. <laughs> Thank you. I think those are the most entertaining and fun to do. Yeah. So. How have you improved throughout your years? Because you are a senior, so you've done this. I mean, my freshman year, I was like, my freshman year, I was kind of like, just like in the ensemble, but you know, something. You know, you improved a little bit. I don't know. 
So, can you give us an idea of what your outfit will look like? It's a, uh, what, Tudor era? It's Tudor era, Tudor era dress, and it's big, and it's poofy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Guess you'll have to come, guys. <laughs> I'm Ian Scrabble and I'm the winner of the food drive. <laughs> so I'm here today with Coach Heather Conrad, uh, Miss, Mrs. Conrad coaches boys swimming. Uh, how do you think the team looks this year? Um, well, this year I would say our numbers are down um, pretty significantly. Uh, but besides that, um, our team is ready to compete and I mean we're looking forward to having a great season so okay, and then how does the scoring work for swimming okay so there are usually uh, six swimmers in the pool so the first place would be um, six points second place is four points and then it goes on down three two one zero okay, okay? yep and then what are the team's goals this season the team's goals um, well our goal is always to improve so we love to get personal records PRs and so that's always always a goal is to get your best time um, swimming is definitely an individual sport in a lot of ways and especially with our numbers down so far we're really focusing on each of the guys strengths and trying to get them to to do better individually and, and PR so yeah. okay thank you yeah uh, so I'm here today with coach Hende of the girls swimming team um, how do you think the team looks this season? Well, we were off to a really great start on Tuesday night. We had a meet at home with North Judson, and we defeated them 117 to 40 something. And the girls all had really, really good swims. So uh, we all had a great starting point, and hopefully, we improve from there. And then, so how do you move on to state in swimming? Well, that is um, something that is very, very challenging to do. It is definitely something that's doable, but you have to win your sectional. Um, you have to be the champion in your sectional to actually move on to the state. They only take one person to the state. Now for diving, um, the top uh, divers in your sectional move on to a regional and then from the regional they'll send divers down to the state the top eight qualify from there but for swimming you have to have the number one spot to move on that sounds like very difficult and uh, what are the team's goals this season um, well number one uh, many of them have individual goals to improve strokes and um, especially their time uh, last year we were able to get every girl back um, for the sectional finals and so that if they swim in the prelims, they also swim in the sectional finals. And that's the first year we've ever been able to do that. So we definitely want to do that again this year. But um, the number one thing is just that each girl is improving themselves, maybe has some personal best in uh, some of their strokes and uh, improves their swimming. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thanks for watching BTV. Be sure to tune in for more videos. Also, be sure to turn into Spotify and check out Bomber Radio Live. They will be posting podcasts with students and staff about certain things going on at RCHS. See you guys next time.